Sani Wonan, Tobel, dear staff and students, this message is being broadcast from the Johannesburg Institute of Advanced Study, which is located here in West Dean. This institute is jointly operated by the University of Johannesburg, as well as the Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. This week ushers in a new month in which our university will be a hive of activity. Thousands of our graduates will descend to the autumn graduation ceremonies commencing on the 14th of March and ending on the 29th of April 2019 to receive their hard-earned qualifications. An interesting snippet into the upcoming graduations is that of one of our students, Rosanna Ebrahim, will be receiving her BCom Accounting Extended Degree cum laude. What makes her graduation and journey special at UJ is that she passed all her subjects with distinctions from first to fourth years of her academic journey. In 2018, Ebrahim attended the 19th University Scholars Leadership Symposium of the United Nations in Bangkok, Thailand. A university qualification is a milestone and a gateway to a better future. To all our graduates, congratulations on your achievement. We are really proud of you. Our university and some of its institutes will also host various important events this month, including book launches and lectures. We will share with details about this event through our various communication platforms, including the UJ website as time approaches. Watch this space too. Speaking of qualifications, our university will be introducing a virtual verification qualification system which will enable our graduates to access their qualifications digitally in what is a first for the South African University, if not the African continent. The system will offer graduates access to their awarded certification credentials securely and online, but it also gives the graduates access to share their qualification credentials with third parties or prospective employees at no cost. This comes after realizing the need to increase security features related to the certification processes in order to prevent fraud, cap counterfeiting, and fraudulent representation of awarded qualifications. This is an important innovation for the university that prides itself as a leading institution of higher learning for the fourth industrial revolution. The university will share with you a link to the platform soon. Still on the fourth industrial revolution, industry leaders play an important role in facilitating and encouraging continued growth and development especially in a contemporary business environment marked by technological disruptions and rapid change. Wongani Zamini is one of 53 exceptional young students from the fast-paced cosmopolitan city of Johannesburg selected for the UJ Young Leadership Program, the intense seven-month residential short course hosted by the Transformation Unit in partnership with the Johannesburg Business School, the JBS. Student Affairs and Academic Partners at UJ runs from the 1st of March to October 2019. Participants will be exposed to a range of topics, experiential learning outings and engagements to hone their organizational leadership skills. I hope that you will learn a great deal in the program and bring about the much needed help in our communities. I also congratulate one of our students, Balisa Manalang, who won the South African title at the National Road Championship 
in Pretoria this past weekend. Hers is a true story of the triumph of the human spirit because four years ago, when she was 27 years old, she thought any prospects of a career in sport was over when she suffered a cycling accident that left her paralyzed from the waist down. While she was at a rehabilitation center, she would watch videos of wheelchair users who took part in sport and realized it was still possible for her to compete. This proved a life-changing experience and their achievement at the weekend is an inspiration to many people to succeed, even if it means defying the odds. Today, I will be meeting some of the new colleagues at the annual New Staff Tea. As part of our university culture, I will be sharing with them some of our past achievements and future ambitions, and also listen to their plans and dreams as lecturers, researchers, and administrators. Through this event, I am reminded of how the university community strives to contribute in various ways to our efforts to uplift and enrich the individual, our institution, and the, by extension, our nation. A warm welcome to all our new colleagues. It is perhaps fitting that all of this is happening in the month of March, which also features significant days such as the United Nations International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination on March the 21st, while South Africans celebrate Human Rights Day on the same date. The day gives us the opportunity to contemplate our roles as individuals and as a nation in the furtherance of these noble causes. While we may be confronted by various challenges daily as a nation, let us continue to work tirelessly together to shape our democracy for the benefit of our society. I am encouraged and inspired by your contributions at the campus engagements that took place at the Soweto and Dwarenfontein campuses recently. Our talking points, the Industry 4.0 academic trajectory and our infrastructure provided us the opportunity to talk about some of the pertinent issues related to everyday endeavors to advance our university into the future. Recently, our protection services partnered with the South African Police Services, the Hauteng Province Community Safety, and the Johannesburg Metro Police to improve the safety of the university community. Crime affects us all, and it is our responsibility to take part in initiatives to curb this scourge. I'm deeply saddened about the untimely passing away of Mr. Mkolisi, Absalom Nkonde, an instrument scientist who was based at the Dwarenfontein campus. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family, friends and colleagues in this very difficult time. Next week, I shall be traveling to Russia where I shall be attending the Winters University Sports event that is organized by the International Universities Sports Federation, where I am a board member representing the African continent. Uh, during my absence, Professor Engina Parekh will act as Vice-Chancellor. 